Hello, Mills here. When I play, I usually use the default texture pack, but uh, a few months ago, I decided to change the glass because uh, the glass, the d default glass looks okay, but it has uh, extra spots in it, and I just wanted it to be a little bit uh, clearer. So I edited the glass to look like this, and as you can see, it's a lot more uh, transparent. There isn't as much uh, information on it. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to do this because it's actually really easy to do. What I'm going to show you is how to edit the glass texture, but it really, you can apply the principles to any of the textures. And then I'll show you how you can have a thumbnail image and a little description so that it shows up in the menu in the game with your own custom image and own description. Uh, it might be helpful to watch this video in high definition also, just so that you can read the writing as well. But the uh, first thing we need to do is we need to get the default texture. We need to make a copy of it because that's the one that we're going to edit. So if you go down to the search area and you search for percent app data percent, it should narrow it down to this roaming folder. Inside the roaming folder, there's .minecraft and bin. And the file that you want is this minecraft.jar file. The way I make a, a quick and easy copy is that I drag this file to my desktop, but before I let go of the mouse button, I press the control key, and that's how you can make a copy. Just like that. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extract the files in this little uh, folder here, or this, fo uh, this file, uh, using a, a zip utility. Uh, your copy of Windows might come with one, but if not, there's a couple of free ones that you can get. One of them is this uh, WinRAR, or WinRAR, which is at win-rar.com. And another one is 7-Zip, which you can get at 7-zip.org. So either way, you can get these, uh, these uh, programs that allow you to unzip the contents. And usually you just right mouse click, and then there will be menu options here to use those programs. So I've got one here uh, for extract files, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to extract them to a folder in my desktop. I'll click OK. And just like that, I now have a folder that uh, has the contents here. We don't need this one anymore, so let's go ahead and delete it. All right, let's open this folder and look inside. Right in the very top level folder, there's a whole bunch of files, and the one that you want to look for is called terrain.png. So let's scroll down to right about there. Okay, and there it is. It's got all this sort of purple in it. Terrain.png. Now, let's go ahead and just drag this to our desktop just for convenience. And you don't have to make a copy this time. You can just drag it. Okay, because that's the only reason you did the uh, unzipping is to get this one file. Uh, now, uh, you don't need this folder anymore, in fact, so I'm going to delete it too. Just get it out of our hair. All right. Now we're ready to edit the texture, uh, text file or the texture file itself. And you can do that in any paint program, but it needs to be a paint program that, that preserves the uh, transparency. So some po uh, paint programs, like I don't think uh, Microsoft Paint will, uh, will work because it doesn't keep the, the transparency. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But there is one free tool that you can use that's called uh, paint.net. And it's a free program that you can download from, oh, here it is, from getpaint.net is where you can get this free program. Okay, so we're going to use that. I actually use a different program. I don't usually use this one, but it works perfectly fine. And let's load the file into the paint program. All right, so if we zoom in, you, you see all the textures that should look very familiar. And we're going to zoom in nice and close, and I'm going to scroll over to where the glass is, which is right up here. Right there. There's the glass uh, texture. Now, the, the checkerboard that you see in the background, all paint programs have some way of, of showing you where the transparent sections are. And usually, uh, most of them have this uh, convention of using the checkerboard pattern. So everywhere that you see the, the gray and white checkerboard is transparent. You compare that to the diamond, which has no checkerboard, because the diamond texture is not transparent. It makes sense. OK. So uh, let me zoom in. Uh, can I zoom in one more level? No, OK. That fully zoomed in there. Now you can use any of the tools uh, in the paint program to edit the drawing as much as you'd like. like so you can delete pixels like this. Or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole block like this. And if I press the Delete key, I now have sort of a clean slate to play around with. As long as you stay inside the lines, you'll be OK. You won't be altering any of the other uh, items on here. So now I'm going to get my pencil. And let's see, I have a plan to do something like this. Let's 
let's see here. All right. And uh, that's all the editing I'm going to do. But obviously, you can edit this to be anything that you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save like that. And now this file has the edited glass. By the way, whenever there's an update to Minecraft, there's always new uh, there's always new textures that are added, like you know the squid and the and the the bed texture and things like that. So what happens is that you'll have to repeat this process every time there's a new update. Like for example, the update that added the bed added some new textures to it. So uh, it's not actually not as hard as it sounds because as long as you have a copy of it, in most paint programs, all you have to do is open up both files and then you can select the range and copy this part and then just paste it into the new version of the uh, texture pack. The next step is to right click on the terrain.png that you edited and send to compressed zipped folder or you can use that that tool that you downloaded uh, the uh, the zip program to do the same thing but what you do here is you give it a name like I'm gonna call this um, I made this and so now we've got this zipped up folder that has the terrain.png file inside of it. All right, so now let's go to the game. And the game makes it real easy now to install this little custom texture pack. Uh, and that is you go to the mod and texture pack section, you open texture pack folder, and then you just drag this and you just drop it right inside like that. Notice that it's in the list now, it's right here. It's called I made this.zip. There's no description and there's no thumbnail. Uh, there has this that has a sort of black and white thumbnail, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, I wanted to show you now that if we uh, say done and then we go into the game, then uh, we've got the new uh, texture bag. And there you have it. That's just silly. And you see the, the areas that had the checkerboard are the transparent areas. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you also uh, a way that you can make the uh, thumbnail something that you want as well as the description for the texture. Let's, uh, let's go back to the uh, pack here and open the folder. And uh, actually you need to deselect it first before you delete it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I'm gonna make a new version of the texture pack that has the, uh, the, uh, the, the image. So what I have is that I created, I, I just made a little graphic here. I'll just show you. I made this in like, like a minute. It's, it's kind of silly and cheesy. There you go. Uh, the only requirement for this uh, image is that it needs to be square. Probably don't need to make it too big. This one is 256 by 256, but I just made this uh, silly image and made it square. And you save it and you name it pack.png, okay? The next thing is that you want to make a, a text file using Notepad. And what happens in the Notepad file, or in the text file, is this is the first line and then this is the second line. So you can have anything you want on those two lines and let's save the program on the desktop and we will save it and this one is also called pack.txt this time. And we will go ahead and replace it because I did this earlier today. There we go. Alright, so now we've got three files pack.txt, pack.png which is that square image and then the terrain, the same terrain image that we edited earlier. This time, go ahead and highlight all three of these files. Right click and zip them up. Again, giving them the name that you want. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this uh, here. Let's see. I'm going to call it wanted. There we go. Go back to the game. Open the texture pack folder. Drag that in. 
And there you go. Now you see the name of the zip file is, is the same, but now you have a thumbnail, that silly thumb thumbnail that I made. This is the first line, this is the second line. So you can put whatever description you want, and then you're good to go and you're ready to play. So that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty simple. Um, like I said, any of the textures that you can find, you can do that. And the only thing you have to stay on top of, of course, is that when there is an update, there will be new textures for the new blocks and the new mobs, and you'll have to edit it. But in, in this case, all I ever edit is the glass. So it's real easy for me to, to fix it every time there's an update. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I hope that helps, and uh, thanks for watching.